Well, that's an interesting question to say, why is art there, even within the context of a US embassy? What purpose does it play? Within an American context, how do you bridge the culture gap of understanding either Swazi culture? And for me as a Swazi, understanding American culture. So it's beautiful to see the collection, which is a fusion of American artworks and Swazi artworks. They're called Hadida Ibis. These are the ones that fly over every day here. They have a very loud sound, and everyone in Swaziland knows that sound. My piece was based on the space and the view, and trying to introduce something that Swazi into an American space. When I first saw them, I thought it was imported from the US, but uh, when I learned that the, it was a local one, I was it was a so surprise. Swaziland is so rich in, in its culture and it's one country which I take pride in in the sense that we've, we've retained our culture for quite a while through much you know turmoil around the, the continent and the world at large whether it's through the ceremonies we have through our kingship I'm never quite short of inspiration that I draw from Swaziland I think having seen the, the ones from the States, I thought, that's fantastic. Some artists sitting in America in their studio, creating work, trying to bridge a gap between their studio and Swaziland. At first I was kind of scratching my head and thinking, in this white dude that has no connection to Swaziland whatsoever, how am I going to make this piece to fit into this place? Rather than actually thinking about what I'm producing for Swaziland, I'm more thinking about this opportunity as a way for me to understand that culture a little bit better. Understanding my own subjectivities by what's moving through my hand. Definitely had this feeling that the Purple Crested Taraka was the bird of Swaziland because that's their national bird. To have it sort of like coming up meekly and introducing itself to the Taracos and the Taracos just like kind of leaning down very inquisitively almost meeting each other for the first time and sort of like coming together. And now what is the role of an embassy? Sometimes art is the only way that you have to communicate civilly with each other. It also helps remind people out in the community that the United States is not only about a policy that may or may not be popular in a country. It is a country of people, just as the country that we're based in is a country of people. We come with talents, we come with opportunities, and those, those talents and opportunities and artistic expression may be the only way that you have to just have a civil dialogue with people in the country that you're in. The concept of mosaics is about community, you know, it's a bunch of little tiny pieces that are put together to make something big and beautiful, right, to make a big statement. And that's just not something that you can necessarily do alone, not, not on this scale, and it's not something that I want to do because the whole point is that we're doing it together as a community. I knew that I was making and designing this piece for a wall in the U.S. Embassy and because I'm living here, I'm collaborating with artists that are Swazi, it's going to automatically take on that cross-cultural element and it can't help but take on that conversation. It can't help but take on that dialogue. America has exported a lot of its culture to the world and it's far reaching and it's, it's had so much influence to the world at large. Having artwork there, it's a part of me sharing my story through art. It's kind of saying, this is my culture as much as it's within an American establishment. It's also taking ownership to those spaces and also sharing the stories the way I feel as a Swazi, my story has to be shared. Through drawing and painting, it's where I learned that I have to speak. I have to say something. I have to share something with others than to keep on quiet. 
I felt like if I have that at peace there, whosoever went to the embers house, maybe her soul is down or is upset, my at peace must uplift her or tell her something or him that okay, this is done by somebody who's African. Most people who've come to Swaziland spend any time here. They see that sort of duality in Swaziland. The old, the new, the West, the African, first world, third world, technology and ancient traditions, all mixed in a pot. Art, whether in embassies, art in public, art in society, it's culture. And um, the culture embodies what the country is. Like the more that I understand about the intricate, unique, fascinating life forms on the planet, the more that I learn about myself and I feel driven and captivated to continue to turn over these stones and ask bigger questions and, I don't know, chase that ephemeral question mark that I'll, I don't know that I'll ever get to the bottom of. I think for me, art has this ability to transport us to those landscapes that we can't access in our day-to-day -day lives. Art becomes this other state which kind of keeps an eye on the world, on society. So maybe it's those conversations which would allow us to be more frank, to be more open about foreign missions in any country because it's about knowing one another.